Here are the best 10 crypto hardware wallets for 2024. At the end, I'll tell you which wallet I think is the best. I will summarize and show for each wallet how much it costs, how it works, its fees, its supported coins and blockchain networks, its security features, where the company is from, and my own thoughts on using the wallet. Nothing I say is financial or investment advice. If you're interested in some of the wallets, you can find them below in the description where you can also get them cheaper with discounts. Wallet 1. The SafePal Wallets. Here we have the X1 and the S1 Pro. The X1 wallet uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone, whereas the S1 Pro is a 100% air-gapped QR code scanning wallet, meaning that no signal is getting in or out from the wallet, making the S1 Pro a bit more secure. Both of these wallets utilize a seed phrase backup. You connect both wallets to your smartphone and use the SafePal app to manage your crypto. Their app is the best crypto wallet app out there with a ton of DeFi utility. They have full coin and network support and you can even add tokens manually. So SafePal wallets support pretty much all coins and networks. The app and hardware wallet are both open source. SafePal have swapping and buying features in their app where you can choose between using both several decentralized exchanges or centralized exchanges like Binance, which I've never seen before in a hardware wallet app. Utilizing Binance for swapping or buying, there is no additional fee. The other swapping routes, SafePal have an additional 0.2% fee on swaps, which is the lowest fee out of all of the wallets on this list when swapping or buying. SafePal also have cross-chain bridging in their app, and they also got farming, earning, and staking features within their app, which is also unique for SafePal. SafePal launched their first wallet in 2019. The company is founded in China, but based on the Republic of the Seychelles. Both the X1 and the S1 Pro was very easy to use and transact with, but it is their app that truly stands out. A great one-stop solution for all use crypto. Wallet 2, Cyfrock X1. The Cyfrock X1 wallet consists of five parts, four cards and one X1 Vault device. This wallet is not intended for seed phrase backup, however you can use that. But the main way of backing up your private key is that the wallet splits the private key onto the five parts, that are also protected by an additional pin code. And you only need one part to get access back to your crypto to recover it. So if you lose or someone steals four parts, you can still restore your crypto with the last part, so a safe way is to store the cards in different locations. You connect the X1 Vault device to a computer and use their C-Sync program to manage your crypto and verify transactions by touching one of the cards to the Vault device. Cyfrock supports more than 3000 coins and a few different networks for the most commonly used coins, so this will most likely be enough coin support for most. And more networks are coming. We cannot add coins manually as of now, but overall Cyfrock currently got an OK coin network support. Cyfrock does support NFTs, have a wallet connect feature to connect to DeFi applications, but they do not have an in-swap feature just yet. The X1 cards firmware are also not updatable, which is a good thing because then new firmware cannot be installed on the cards which is a good thing since it keeps them safe from backdoor hacking. Cyfrock launched their first wallet in 2022 and it's from Singapore. For the Cyfrock X1, it was nice that all five parts came in one and the same package. Both the setup with the computer program was easy and easy to verify transactions with the cards. It is a great and simple and secure way of storing the standard crypto coins like Bitcoin if you want to avoid the risk of having seed phrases lying around. Wallet 3, Elipal Titan 2. The Elipel Titan 2 is a smartphone looking wallet with a camera on the back that you connect through QR code scanning to your phone and manage your crypto through Elipel's app. All transaction signing occur through scanning QR codes due to the wallet also being 100% air gapped. The touchscreen on the wallet is really good and responsive. The Elipel Titan 2 uses seed phrase backup. The wallet also have an anti-disassembly and anti-tampering features, making your crypto wallet more secure against physical attacks. Elipel have some parts open sourced. The app have native support for 41 blockchains and 10,000 plus coins. Here are the blockchain networks where we can add and store more coins on them. And we can also request specific tokens to be added through email. Elipel do have swap, buy and staking features within their app. It can handle NFTs on the Ethereum and Polygon network. Elipel does not charge additional fees for buying and swapping in their app, but they utilize third-party partners that as always charge a fee.
And in the LPL app, they also have direct access to some DeFi apps, and they also have the Wallet Connect feature for more DeFi utility. LPL started with the wallet in 2019 and is from Hong Kong. The app and the wallet was very easy to set up and to start using since it resembles a smartphone. The wallet together with the charging deck to charge the battery is all a bit bulky, takes up some space, but on the other hand, you can clearly see what you're doing on the big screen. It's a perfectly good and easy to use wallet with a lot of supported coins and DeFi utility. Wallet 4. One key. The one key wallets cost the following amount. These wallets you connect with Bluetooth or cable to your smartphone and manage your crypto using the smartphone app. The wallets are simply just for physically verifying transactions, but the touch wallet is also nice for displaying NFTs. One key wallets utilize seed phrase backup. The wallet or app directly supports a lot of different blockchain networks and most importantly a lot of coins on each network and you can also add coins manually here. So one key pretty much supports all coins and networks. One key is open source both software and hardware. The one OneKey app also got a great cross-chain swap feature which only got 0.3% in fees. With all the OneKey wallets you can also store NFTs on them. OneKey have had a wallet since 2019 and are from Hong Kong. I have personally used the OneKey wallets for a while and I personally like the DeFi utility and cross-chain swap within the app. Wallet 5. Decent Wallet. You connect the wallet through Bluetooth to your smartphone and manage your crypto through their smartphone app. This wallet got a few buttons and a biometric authentication directly on the wallet. The wallet also utilizes seed phrases. Decent are not open source. Decent supports pretty much all blockchain networks and a lot of coins on each network directly in their app. And you can also here add coins manually. This wallet can manage NFTs and you can swap and buy crypto in their app directly, but they could not say how much the fee was for swapping. But I saw for swapping that it was mostly using ERC20, the Ethereum network coins, and that comes with expensive transaction fees. But that is only for swapping within the app. The Decent app got some good crypto features and direct integration to MetaMask, which is nice. Decent launched their first wallet in 2018 and the company is from South Korea. I like the biometric authentication directly on the wallet, which adds an extra security step. The Decent app had a ton of use case and support pretty much all coins, so it's a great app there as well. Wallet 6. The Tangem Wallet. You use the cards together with the Tangem smartphone app. The card does not require charging, Bluetooth or anything, you just touch the card against your phone and that will basically set up your wallet and sign transactions within seconds. So this is for sure the easiest crypto hardware wallet. Tangem then offers three different setup methods. One is the traditional seed phrase method, the second one is importing other wallets, and the third is their own method without seed phrases where the additional cards just work as backup cards. This last method is in my opinion a much safer way to store crypto as you then need both the card, a pin code and biometric authentication if you want to access your crypto. Seed phrase papers, someone can just steal those and you will lose all your crypto. Tangem are also fully open source. And the best thing about Tangem I think is that they themselves cannot update the hardware wallet firmware and this completely avoids the risk of any hackers implementing backdoor codes into any updates. The Tangem wallet app directly supports a lot of blockchain networks and coins on each network and you can pretty much add any coin you want as you can add them manually here as well. You can however not store NFTs on Tangem just yet, but you can connect to pretty much any dApps with Tangem using their wallet connect feature. Tangem does also have a cross chain swap feature directly in the Tangem app with fees starting from 0.35% but the fee differs a bit depending on the swap pair. Tangem is also the best wallet in terms of physical protection as it is waterproof and physically durable. Tangem launched their wallets in 2022 and are a company from Switzerland. The Tangem wallet is by far the easiest and fastest hardware wallet to use. It's perfect for beginners. Wallet 7 Keystone 3 Pro. The Keystone 3 Pro costs $129. It's a touchscreen wallet that you're pretty much intended to use together with a software wallet. Keystone have integrated directly with MetaMask and support many other software wallets. So this wallet you connect and you use with your laptop or your smartphone. Keystone is also a seed phrase based wallet. A unique thing with this wallet is that you can sign transactions with QR code scanning, making the signing process a lot easier, faster and safer. The wallet supports a few native coins, but the majority of coins and networks you are going to use will be through the software wallets, where you can store pretty much anything. Keystone 3 Pro wallet have the highest security specs within the industry, utilizing three security element chips, where most other wallets just have one. They also have biometric authentication, and the wallet is air-gapped, meaning it does not connect 
connect to any outer signals and you have the option to use the wallet 100% offline. The wallet also have an anti-tampering security feature so that if someone tries to physically get into your wallet it will self-destruct its information. So this wallet is a powerhouse in terms of security features. Keystone are open source about almost every aspect and regarding fees since you swap using other software wallets the fees depend on them or the dApp you are using. Keystone was formerly called Kobo Vault but changed their name and launched the wallet 2021 and they are from Hong Kong. Wallet 8 Tresor Safe 3. The Tresor Safe 3 wallet costs $79. The wallet utilizes seed phrases. You connect the wallet to a PC or laptop through cable and manage your crypto through their Tresor program and you verify transactions using these buttons here. So it's quite an easy device to use. Tresor is also open source. In their Tresor program they support a few native standard coins but mainly the ERC20 Ethereum network for most coins which have expensive transaction fees. You can, as with most most other wallets connect to software wallets like MetaMask and store more coins on different blockchains there. Within the Tresor program you can also buy, sell and swap crypto directly through several third party partners and their fee differs but the fee differs everything from 1% up to 4.25% so it's possible to perform a lot there but it can be expensive. Tresor have been around with the wallet since 2014 and they are from Czech Republic and Tresor have thereby proven their trust over the years to safely store crypto long term. Wallet 9, Secux V20. The Secux V20 cost $139. It's a touchscreen wallet that also uses seed phrases. You connect the wallet by Bluetooth to your smartphone and manage your crypto in their smartphone app, which also have biometric authentication. Secux support directly in their app over 50 blockchains with a lot of coins for each network and you can manually add coins there as well. Their wallets does support NFTs but they do not have in-app swap functionality. But as for the other wallets you can also connect them to software wallets and other dApps. Secux have been around with the wallet since 2018 and are from Taiwan. The Secux V20 wallet have grown on me over time, it's got a nice responsive wallet that is quite easy and straightforward to use. Wallet 10 Ledger Nano X or Nano S the Ledger Nano X costs $180 and is possibly the most used crypto wallet in the world. You connect the wallet through cable to PC or laptop and run the Ledger Live program where you manage your crypto. You push these two buttons to perform actions and see them on this little display. Ledger devices are also seed phrase wallets. The Ledger Live program support over 100 native coins, all traditional tokens and mainly ERC20 Ethereum network coins as we know have very expensive transaction fees. So storing directly using the Ledger Live program is expensive due to that and the network coin support is therefore not that great with Ledger. However, you can of course connect to software wallets and store using other networks there. Ledger have been around since 2014 and is from France. Ledger have thereby also earned trust over the years as a safe wallet for storing crypto long term. However, Ledger were hacked in 2023 where hackers implemented code into their Ledger Connect kit where people connecting their Ledger wallet to software wallets or dApps ended up draining their wallets due to this backdoor. So this shows the extra risk of exposing yourself when connecting your wallet to third party software. The absolute safest way to store crypto is to keep them 100% offline. Wallet 11, Rider 1. Rider 1 is a new wallet that have not even started shipping yet. It ships in April 2024. So I've not tried this one out yet, so I can't say too much about it except its original idea. So the Rider 1 package consists of a Rider 1 device, a charger, and a recovery tag. It does not use seed phrases backup, but instead splits the private key onto a recovery tag, and you can buy additional recovery tags that you can store or share with family that acts as a recovery backup. The wallet is 100% offline, open source, waterproof, dustproof and it's also said to support the most popular chains. And Rider is a company from Singapore. So which is the best wallet for 2024? I will choose the overall personal winner soon, but for you it depends on what you're looking for and what you plan on doing with your crypto. So you might need one, two or even three crypto wallets depending on how you will use them. We have hardware wallets we use as cold wallets where we just have our crypto offline and don't touch it. Don't connect it to any sites or anything. This is the safest way to store crypto. We have hardware wallets we can treat as active wallets that we use often and transfer funds back and forward to, use them for trading, connect to a lot of sites and 
and this is the most unsecure way of storing on a hardware wallet. But if we want to trade and swap on DeFi apps, using a hardware wallet is the safest way to do it. And here in the middle, we have a category I like to call semi-active wallets. These wallets we don't use that often and don't connect to too many sites and acts like a buffer to our active wallet. So for the cold wallet category where I just want to store a fortune in Bitcoin perhaps, I don't need special features, I don't need a bunch of network or coin support, I just need a reliable device and a trustworthy company. For the active wallet I need large coin and network support, because that makes transactions back and forward a lot cheaper using cheaper network blockchains. I also want it to go fast and smooth to verify transactions if I want to make a lot of them. And if I'm trading on the go when I'm outside, then having all utility features default accessibility directly within the wallet app is crucial. And for the semi-active wallet, the utility special features are not equally as important as for the active wallet, but I still somewhat like a broad coin and network support here as I transfer back and forward from time to time. So as you can see, some wallets fit better within certain categories. So which wallet do I think is the best to use as a cold wallet? Any of the wallets I mentioned today can be used as a cold wallet, just store them offline. But there is one thing that stands out for two of the wallet companies, and that is Tresor and Ledger, because they have a historical track record of keeping crypto safe long term. So my personal winner for the cold wallet choice goes to the Tresor Safe 3. Among the newer kind of wallets, I would also like to add the Tangium wallet and the Cyfrock to this list. Which is the best active wallet? The best active wallet I think is the Tangium wallet, due to it being lightning fast to use, to verify with, whilst being the physically safest wallet, being waterproof and super durable. Because if we're going to use an active wallet a lot, we're gonna pull it out a lot, and we don't want that to be fragile. So the Tangium wallet is perfect for this use case. Next in line after the Tangium wallet would be the SafePal X1, and the OneKey Mini, and the Keystone 3 Pro. The best semi-active wallet. The best wallet to use as a semi-active wallet. You can honestly use any of these on the list right here. It's more of a personal taste if you want to use a touchscreen on a big device or if you just want a small card. Regarding the best utility wallet, if you're looking for a one-stop solution wallet where you can do everything you need within crypto, I think the SafePal X1 or the S1 Pro wallet is the clear winner here. They support everything you need directly in their app. All coins, networks, swap feature with both decentralized exchanges and centralized exchanges with Binance, which I've seen in no other wallet app. They also have farming, earning and staking directly in their app. The safest wallet I think is Tangem or Cyfrock due to them not needing the seed phrases lying around, which is an additional risk. And both the wallet cards are winning the physical durability aspect by far. And one of the most important things for me in terms of security is that the companies cannot update the wallet's firmware, making them almost impossible to introduce a backdoor into. The best crypto wallet overall for 2024. Now if this video helped you, consider helping me with a like on the video. So now we have come to the end for me to personally choose one wallet that I'm going to use and it comes down to either the SafePal X1 or the Tangium wallet. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.